What is up the Steam blockchain? Today I want to talk about the future role for humans on Earth when AI takes over intellect roles. I need some coffee because this topic is so deep. Hmm. Much better. Okay, so what do I mean with AI, artificial, and with AI I mean artificial intelligence. What do I mean with AI taking over intellect roles? Well, I saw this video and it was talking a little bit about that the Russians in five to seven years, they have tools to build a house from scratch using uh, robots. We have Elon Musk doing cars that drive themselves. Car ownership dead by 2025. A lot of things are gonna change dramatically. And this is stuff that I don't talk 20 or 30 years in the future. I mean, five to seven years. This stuff is coming out on the market. It's part robotics and part artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning. So a lot of the tasks that humans do at the moment is intellect. Intellect, this is one part of human intelligence. But our school system uh, only focus on intellect almost. And there are different layers of intelligence. And the, the layer of intelligence that artificial intelligence is going to take over is going to be intellect tasks. And that is what humans have invested so much into. But now we are going to have to do something else. Because everything that is intellect based, a robot can do, artificial intelligence can do, deep learning can do, machine learning can do. The new algos can do it. Bots can do it. Automation can do it. The, all the intellect tasks. What is an intellect task? Well, all the number-based stuff. All the... Um, how should I say? You can, you can stuff in, in the intellect, you can stuff in most thoughts that a person has. And when they're, when they're trying to be witty and uh, they're trying to consider stuff in a deep way in, um, and, and, and put it out on the screen, for example, on their phone or on the computer. Uh, maybe they have a Twitter page and uh, they write stuff down. Uh, there, there is a lot of people that do that. And thought is mainly intellect. I feel that a lot of humans are going to try to grasp they're gonna try to grasp onto. They wanna hold, hold it, hold, hold the intellect, hold the intellect. Keep investing in the intellect, but eventually, a person going to have to let go because AI is gonna do the intellect stuff. It can do it. It can do it better than us humans, and it's rough because we humans love to use the intellect, be witty, write down smart stuff. Educate other humans by writing cool stuff down. Intellect is also a cutting tool. So people are trying to dissect everything. They're trying to dissect a flower by splitting it up into multiple parts. You only know the parts. Now you don't know the flower. Splitting an atom. I'm not even sure if humans have done it. Instead of seeing a human, the intellect see heart, it see bones, it see blood. But, and then the intellect, it wants to dissect the blood, it wants to dissect your nose, it wants to, it wants to dissect everything. It, it's a surgeon tool, it's a cutting tool. All this AI can do. Artificial intelligence can do that. Okay, so what is going to be the future role for humans? Well, the first thing we can see is that if most jobs are intellect roles, because they are, 
That means that robots can do that. They can do that little thing. They can give us value, okay? But we have to do something that a robot cannot do. Now, what can we do? What can we do? So intellect, we're never gonna win that game. We're never gonna be smarter than a robot in the intellect game. So, what do we do? What is it that we have that the robot doesn't have? We have consciousness. We have consciousness, we have awareness. And that is a really cool intelligence, an aspect of intelligence that we have to invest more into. We have to invest more into being aware, paying attention, less conclusions. The conclusions that people do, it makes it so they make their lives smaller. And it, and it, uh, it makes a person go back to the intellect again. So, we, we have to invest more into awareness. Less about judgment. Sometimes we're really into judgment mode and I feel it's, a, it's dualism, right? So, life works in different levels. Judgment and, and conclusions. It has its place. So, can a robot ever be aware? No. It can be looked at, uh, or we can make it look very real, uh, it, but it cannot really be aware. It can never have consciousness. A robot can never have consciousness. But most people are gonna get fooled. Hey, people even get fooled by Siri. They feel that because intellect is, intellect can made look extremely real. Very good actually, it can be very useful because it is data, right? This is memory. So you can have deep conversations. You can do a lot of things with intellect, with an AI intellect machine, but it can never be conscious. but it's gonna look conscious. It's gonna look like the intellect AI machines. It's gonna look like it's conscious. So we humans have to invest more into awareness, more into pre preparing to do stuff less that is about the intellect, preparing to just be aware, look around, paying attention. Those are the things we humans gotta do. So when I, when I read stuff on my computer these days, I, I usually don't dive deep into anything. I, 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 just, I just watch. The more I watch, the more my, intelli the more my intelligence grows. Of course a person can do the intellect because it, it can be fun, it can be enjoyable, these uh, amusements, but just that a person knows that a robot will always be better than you eventually on the intellect side. And if it's better, then we don't have to do that task anymore. But a robot can never take a role in awareness, in seeing things that are here right now. It can never analyze, or it can analyze by logic and intellect a room but can it have a human heart? Can it have a heart? Can it have emotions? I don't think so. I don't think so. So emotions, awareness, feeling things, joy, pleasure, those are the things that the intellect machine, the AI machine cannot do. So we gotta learn to be happy. That's a big thing. Learn to be happy, be joyful, laughing, smile. Not taking life too serious. At the same time as you're taking it serious because you, you wanna do stuff, life is short, right? 
Maybe you have more lifetimes. Maybe not. We don't know. But being a watcher, doing stuff that is outside of the intellect, really, really important. Really important. Since it's going to take everyone's intellect jobs. And we're going to have to prepare for a reality where we have even more free time. We already have a lot of free time. But we're going to have even more free time too. More time. Over. Should we dive more deep into intellect? Trying to create theories out of everything? Why do that? We can have a robot. We can have a personal robot that makes up theories and and give us interesting intellect ideas. We can we can uh, have we can watch that as um, uh, for fun for amusement. Sure. As long as we know that it is like some some minor amusements, we want to evolve as humans. So that means we we have to get new input or paying attention. But by really paying attention, if we look at something, what is going on here? What is actually going on here? So, it's, it's not as obvious, paying attention. Awareness, it, it's not obvious because it's always here, so we feel that. We don't have to pay attention to it, it's always there. But it's subtle. It's subtle energy. You gotta learn to detect it takes time but you can become better at it no need to stress out about it yeah I wanted to speak a little bit about this because it's going to be a big topic in the future what if you have a trillion dollars what are you going to do is there anything any theories any logic thing that you can come up with that uh, that makes you that makes you feel significant. That you are smart. We gotta find uh, other clever ways of, of getting good feelings. <laughs> so I want to speak a little bit about this in this video. As I said, I'm probably gonna do tons of these videos going more in depth into this since uh, we need more humans to do it, I, I, I think. So yeah, have a great day everyone on the Steam blockchain. If you don't know what Steam blockchain is, you should you should search for it.